Okay, so we're back. We brought everything back up here. We brought this lubricant all the way up to here. Now we're kind of just expanding a little bit of our red chips and our green chips because we have an overproduction of our products here um, and we're not producing enough red chips to fulfill our entire uh, blue line, nor do we have enough left over to supply this uh, I'd like these to be completely full now granted there is a backlog here of a bunch of these but it's not gonna work so we're gonna have to really truly expand this uh, significantly um, but I did want to start building up our green a little bit here so that way um, the uh, there's be a dedicated green uh, circuitry to start working on our electric motors which are electric motors we still need to build the small electric motor, which is iron gears and copper cables and all that stuff, and I'm wondering if we could just steal from one of these. Now, it is a little tight. Don't know that I'm going to be able to steal from it without um, depositing into the wrong thing. So, yeah, we might have to build our own. Um, and as you see, it requires iron, copper plates, and iron gears. So we are going to have to deal with that coming off of this line. So we could do that pretty easily. We could take off of this. Uh, we don't know that this is going to be like this. Let's just do this for now. We're going to steal off of this. We need to build more of these. Um, <clears throat> on us so where is our steel that's not steel where am I making my steel I don't remember where we're making steel here we are so this is where we're making steel which I'm starting to think we should probably start doing the whole chest thing for the buffer here so we can get some if we need it even if it's not much. Just a stack of 100. That'd be nice. Yeah, I think that'll do it. All right, so. <clears throat> so now we have a few of these built, so let's go ahead and put that here. We're gonna need to make some iron gears. And then iron gears and copper plates. So we're gonna have to borrow from there. So we'll borrow from the middle. So first let's extend this out a little bit. We borrowed from the outer edge. So we could borrow, actually we already have a balancer so we could borrow from outer edge. And as we've learned, there um, so that's perfect so we can build upwards to here and oh, damn uh, okay any who's uh, so we're gonna have to offload that onto a belt don't know that this is where it needed to be I hate when I don't plan things out right so um, a lot of iron gears we're gonna make copper cables so iron gears are going to be depositing there, so we're going to deposit copper cables on the opposite side. Where do I get my copper cables? Right here. So that means that this can just be... I guess it could just go right up to it. But just to be safe, we don't need it for a f another line. We'll just do that. And like that. And like that. And like that. So now, at least that is now being a fully occupied line of copper gears and iron gears or whatever. We don't know that we're going to need to build more, so we're going to build that up a little bit just in case we need to. And then iron plates, which are also right there. So we will just borrow from them. 
get some more of these. Um, copper plates and iron plates. You go to be turned into those. Uh, we're not thinking the most efficient way of possible, but we are doing it. <laughs> what else does this need? It needs electrical circuits and steel. try. Even if that means extending it, yeah, like that. Really just need it for the stretch more than anything. Because I'm not going to be able to make the, the, the length of it. So that's why we're doing it. <clears throat> okay, should be done now. Just so we can spit out appropriately onto the other side. All right. Now we can handle you like normal. Let us bring you upwards because we need steel. We have. We're going to bring over our electrical circuits right now, which we're just going to bring up a few more of these just in case we need to continue it on. And then electrical circuits are going to get brought over and down. So now the electrical circuits are going to dump on there, and then we just bring out to bring up the lubricant, and then all of it can be done in a space manufactory or a assembly machine. Can we do a space manufactory? I don't think so. We don't have that, so we'll have to do one of these, which we will have. So that means you are going to make these. Bring up your lubricant. Uh, I'll bring over the lubricant, actually. Just like that. And then... Yeah. 
and then boom. We are now making lubricant. Is it not enough lubricant? Seriously, we don't have enough lubricant to go around? Oh, uh, yeah, we have a section broken off. There we go. Alright, so now we can do it. Yeesh. Okay, so that's going to take a while to make. But once we make those, they can be used in the making of our rocket silo. So we need to get a hundred of those. Alright, so let's start stacking them into a box. At the very least. We need how many of them? Just a hundred, okay. Um, I don't know how much they stack. So let's just assume 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's just assume they're stacks of 10. I don't think that they are. I think there might be stacks of 100, but at least now we know that they are producing. We could be doing this faster, but we're going to need, obviously, um, a different a setup for this. Um, I could have them all parallel to this and then all that business, but I'm not, I'm not trying to speed this up just yet. I just want to get the basics in, and then we can scale this and bend this however we need to. Um, same thing with this, like we can scale this however we need to. And I didn't need to drag it down like this, but I did. Alright, so we are well on our way here. We have a lot of our stuff being done. This is going to be the goal for us. We need to start collecting our concrete. How do we make concrete? Um, concrete, where art thou? Uh, right here. So concrete is made with water, stone, plates, and regular stone. Jeez, they don't make this easier. They really don't. We're going to have to get some water. We're going to have to get our stone and our bricks and all of that is going to have to she should just be used. All right, well, you know, that's what we'll do one more time. We'll do that last little bit here. Because we're going to need some of these and we're going to need some of this. Oh, we're out of fuel in the glass. So let's get that figured out. Ideally, that would be electric. Um, and it wouldn't need fuel at all. Um, I, I could do that. I could tap into getting some fuel over here. Um, but honestly, it's not like we need tons of it right this minute. And we're making plenty of glass. So we could just keep topping it off until we get around to making electrics. All right, so now uh, we said we have the stone. We just need iron plates and water. Iron plates are all the way up here. So we're going to have to steal from that line somewhere just steal from right there and it should work out if we do it like this that and then we got to bring that down So now we have enough to start making this. We just need to put it in an assembly machine, which we have one. And let's just start bringing it all together. Concrete. 
Oh, wait, I'm making the wrong concrete. I need iron sticks. Uh, I was reading the wrong one. Was I? Yeah, I was reading the total raw. I was reading the actual ingredients. I don't need iron. I need iron sticks. Uh, that's okay. We can bring this over here to do what we need to do with the iron sticks. <laughs> a little bit of a detour involved there, but nothing too crazy. Should be easy to come by. We have a pipe right here for water, so let's go ahead and tap into that a little bit. All right, like so. I could use. I could definitely make that faster. <laughs> um, but yeah, we need some iron plates to go faster here. You can empty out so much faster if we had the right things, but whatever. Um, okay, so let's do the appropriate thing here where we get this going. What happened to all my stuff here? Did I delete all of that or move it or shuffle it? I don't even know. I don't know what just happened. Everything just like shimmied. Whatever. Ah, okay. Let's get this faster here. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Now we're well, well stocked. And then here we can do that. And then we can get this paper, or paper liquid Jeez, what's wrong with me? Just like that and then we need to connect the pipe and then boom now we're making concrete I don't know if we were making concrete over at the other place, but we need to be making concrete a little more locally here. So now we can at least do this a little bit easier. Put a stack of that in there, build it out, and now we have concrete. Jeez, all of that. Just so we could do the next stage of things, which I forget was what. Oh yes, yeah, start building the rocket silo. And then we should be able to make grab everything we just don't have a buffer zone of plastic yeah we don't have like a buffer area of plastic so i just need a filter inserter that does it for me uh even if that plastic is like right here 
and I have it filtering out, whitelisting only the plastic, and I build only one of these, and I only put that there. And then I need to build a bunch of these things. going on that we definitely need to increase our power production so the question is is how do we want to do that we could do a few of these um, it's not ideal but that is an option we could also put down a fuel process then no, we have enough fuel being processed so the question is is do we want to put down another one of these burner things I feel like that's the fastest solution. And then we can do two of those, a few of those, just to get us by. satisfy we can produce 18 and we can satisfy up to we're barely hanging on but that's okay we're gonna put down some solar panels and some actuators so that then when there is a boost we will have some backup for it all right so we're getting distracted as you can see this game will keep you distracted heavily um, all the time with constant things <laughs> that you could be working on at any one given moment so this whole section here is beginning to become obsolete but like I said we did have a concrete section over here so that we actually were building up quite a bit of concrete on so uh, we'll just go ahead and start stacking that one two three four five six seven and yeah we'll start building up and all of this is starting to back up which is nice we're doing all right we can we could probably build our silo in the next episode once we've caught up on all of these materials that we need and then once the silo is built um, all we need to then build is this here which requires glass plastic steel copper which we already making glass which there's plenty of so yeah we can do that in the next episode and then start building a rocket next episode rocket time thanks again everyone this is chuck thunder thanks you for watching please sure to like and subscribe and thanks again and we'll talk to you soon later